I want to talk to you guys about something. It's something that I am very interested in. It's something that I'm intrigued by. It's something that all of you are here because of. And it's something that most of you have done before. And probably even enjoyed doing. Maybe last night, or maybe even right before you got here. This something I want to talk to you about is sex. And before I scare my parents who are sitting in the audience somewhere too much, <laughs> I must specify that I want to talk about the subject of sex, but more specifically, I want to talk about the subject of talking about sex. When it comes to sex, I always like to think that I can do better. And if I can do better, you can too. Um, and to get better, you have to learn. One of the ways to learn about something is by talking about it. But I often notice when I talk to people who don't know me about this subject that they get really awkward and kind of uh, move back. And even almost always um, when the conversation continues, they seem really open and also very keen to learn, just like I am. So how come, even though a lot of people do this, it's still such a taboo? People still don't like talking about it. Let me give you an example. If you would meet me at a party, you don't know me, and we get talking, and at a certain point in the conversation, you ask me about my hobbies. You say, well, Jesse, what do you do for fun? <laughs> and I say, well, I'm kind of getting into photography. I really like traveling, but actually the thing I enjoy doing the most is sex. Now at this point in the conversation, if you just met me, a complete stranger, and I've just told you my hobby is sex, what would you be thinking? Would you think something like, whoa, this guy must be sex obsessed? Shouldn't your reaction be more like, sex? I get that. This way, we could have a conversation about it and share experiences. Why isn't it the case that when a coworker would ask you about your weekend on Monday, <laughs> why can't you just say, well, my weekend was great. Saturday, I had my cooking class and I went to the gym. And Sunday, my girlfriend and I just slept, slept in till about 11, had breakfast in bed, and had amazing sex. Why would that be such a weird thing to say? It's not like people think that no one has sex. Barack Obama likes to boogie in bed. Heck, the Queen of England has four kids. We all have sex, and we all know that we all have sex, yet people still feel awkward to talk about it. I think talking about sex should be like deciding what to eat for dinner. If you and I were to have dinner, and you suggest a recipe involving lots of bell peppers, I really don't like them, I'm going to be honest to you, and I'm going to tell you that I don't like them. This way, we can choose a different recipe, and we can choose something that we both really enjoy eating. Why can't we just do that with sex? Just being honest and open to each other. Just saying, hey, what you're doing is really nice, but it could be even better if you tried it this way. Then we both walk away with more knowledge and experience about what the other person likes. So next time, when you're talking with friends, colleagues, classmates, or a complete stranger at a party, let's just all be a little bit more open and honest so we can learn from each other's experiences. And next time, if you meet me at a party, and I tell you my hobby is sex, will you tell me what's yours? Thank you. <laughs>